So I wanted to show you guys how to um, do the Skyreach dungeon to make, see I'm making seven to 8,000 gold um, every, every hour. So two to 3,000 gold every half hour. You can probably make more than that, but. So you wanna go to your garrison and fly to Axefall, which is right here. And then I'm there, so I'll show you guys how to get up to the dungeon. And there's people saying that there's a a uh, time, like you can go in, only go in 10 times, but that's only if you go in super fast 10 at a time. So what I do is I go in 9 times and then I'll take like a 5 or 10 minute break and then go back in 9 more times and just keep, you know, taking breaks after each time I go in 9 times. <clears throat> that way I don't get uh, capped out and... So we're just going up this little road here, and then we turn right here. And um, I'm doing this dungeon over and over so I can save up for the Brutusaur mount, or the long boy as I call him. Go past the meeting stone and up, and here is the entrance to the dungeon. Alright, let me make sure I reset my dungeons. You want to reset all instances up here, uh, right there, um, each time you come out and need to go back in. Otherwise, if you don't, you will uh, go back in and there will be nothing there, no creatures. And if you don't go back to the entrance or the surface, as they like to call it, uh, it will return you to the nearest graveyard. This minute, um, this dungeon I can do in about six minutes. I mean, you can do it fast. Just make sure you don't do it ten times in a row fast, or you'll reach the limit for ten dungeons that day. That's why I do it nine times, and then uh, take a break. Oops. <laughs> Sorry guys, my furnace just came on. These two guys I kill, and then I round up the rest of these guys, if I can. Try not to get any stragglers. <laughs> I like to do as fast as I, you know, get through as fast as I can. Okay, get over here. Come on. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, my furnace is super loud. Sorry about that. Okay, we're coming up on the first boss. <clears throat> um, I recommend doing this. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Recommending doing this dungeon at 110 to 120 level um, because they are level 100 elites. Um, to be able to solo it yourself. Um, uh, like I said, and the, the money that you're going to get is from, the most money you'll get is from uh, vendoring all the stuff you that drops in here. Um, you do collect gold from these guys, but it's not, not a lot, maybe a couple hundred. Make sure you collect all the ads. I know sometimes I'll start talking and then get onto something else and forget what I was talking about. So if I miss something, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you won't, if you come in as a group, you won't make as much money as you will soloing this. And it's best to solo it at 110 to 120 level. Character level, not item level. <laughs> Figured I'd specify that. And I just round up all these guys around this, this circle. And then this is the second boss, this guy right here in the air. Just take him down. And this little thing will pop up. Don't forget to loot it. This is a tricky part, getting up this. I have fell rush, so I can use it right when I get to those upper stairs up there. But this wind will push you off, and I've actually died three times in the last 
hundred times I've done this dungeon. Because <laughs> uh, it's really tricky up here. I try to stay real close to this edge here. And then uh, do that. <laughs> Um, it's it's good if you have some sort of fast running or some other sort of buff that can get you through there fast right when you get to the top of that. It's not so bad going around the outside if you stay close to the edge, but right when you get to the top that's where it tries to push you off. And I figured I'd do this walkthrough with you guys because a lot of people are posting the video online of how to make quick gold for the Brutusaur mount in here, but they don't do a walkthrough of, you know, the dungeon itself. So I figured I'd do that for you guys. Come along with me. And I'm mine these guys, they drop junk stuff that you can sell for silver, maybe sometimes one gold, but yeah. I do it anyway. <laughs> okay, and we're coming up on the last boss. Okay, and then we'll go over here. That's the last boss. We're done with the dungeon. And this guy will fly back. The blue guy here. Forgot what his name is. <laughs> I have wrote him a million times and forgot what his name is. But he takes you back to the bottom. Or the surface. And then, before you go back in, click on your picture up here and reset all instances. And go back in. And then when your bags get full, vendor the stuff. And like I said, I'm making um, two to three thousand gold every 25 minutes or so. It just depends on what drops. So anyway, good luck and have fun, guys. <laughs>